I was born in Northern California, but um, my family lived in Los Angeles until I was about 11. Then we moved to uh, London, England and lived there until I was about 20 before moving back to Michigan. Actually, we had never lived in Michigan before, so we moved to Michigan. My father was actually a photographer um, and worked um, in Miami and Detroit and um, in the West Coast in California as well. He used to be a, uh, a model for like Hudson's, the department store here in Michigan. Being on the other side of the lens, I think when he was really young, inspired him to pick up the camera. There's always been creative people around us, so my brother and I grew up in the kind of household that was, we were constantly surrounded by creatives, um, actors, or poets, or dancers, and musicians. Well, I mean, I first thing I'd probably lead your eye to is the horizon line. This represents the horizon for me. This is an experience out in the high desert. Um, and basically what, what I was seeing was this beautiful sand and landscape with shadow being cast across it with rocks and boulders. So all of this represents that positive and negative created by the sun and light and shadow. And this is all the trees in the background off in the distance and in the low mountain range. So this is kind of the, the easiest way for me to express without being obvious um, about a specific location um, or, or geographic kind of um, experience. But this is what I found beautiful in this personal experience for me. I was in this part of nature and I stood and I looked upon this vista and what stood out for me were the way the shadow and the light was dancing with these rocks and then the kind of how <clears throat> linear and flat this was juxtaposed with these tree forms vertically and the uplifting kind of motion of the mountains. So <clears throat> this is just a horizon line. This represents one part of the view and this represents the other part of the view and it can be whatever you want it to be too, obviously, but um, this is, I guess, the, the easiest way for me to kind of extrapolate or extract and then extrapolate upon the simple pleasures of that view for me. Um, a, a painting like this exists in my head for a great deal of time before it actually manifests physically. Um, I wrangle with how to uh, you know, I, I look at the, the photos I took of this area and I try to remember that experience and, and try to just bring to the surface what is important for me to uh, express in that telling of this story. So in this way, like the, the orange of the desert floor stood out. You know, the, the light blue and the, the kind of edge of the shadow stood out. So th those are the things I choose to amplify. Um, if I was to explore every single item in, uh, in that view, then it would be chaos or it would be a photorealistic painting and I find that boring. Um, I appreciate it, I'm boring for myself and I also am not talented, even close to talented enough to do that. So, um, <clears throat> so that, that's what, I mean, I do think there's merit in refining that viewpoint and finding those points that really emphasize the story you're telling and um, the way you tell that story. You know, putting everything out there all the time um, just becomes chaotic. You know, it, it's hard to uh, understand what you're trying to say. It's hard to have a voice. Uh, I'm the program manager for Red, Red Bull Arts Detroit. Um, it's a residency program for uh, national artists, um, hoping to open it up internationally next year. Uh, we have three residencies that consist of three artists at a time through the year. Um, then we have a curatorial fellowship that's uh, about 10 or 12 months long. And every two months we have a literary or writer's fellowship. Um, people come and visit and write and inter engage with the city and our other artists here. And every month we have a micro grant only for local artists. We're located in Eastern Market um, in Detroit, and uh, we've been there since about uh, in operation since about 2012. Um, so that I'm, I'm very proud of that program. Um, it's evolved um, beyond my wildest dreams, but um, 
I expected it to because it's uh, it's feeding into a community of people that um, value um, that action, you know, supporting artists and trying to find the most um, authentic and honest way of supporting arts and culture in the city um, and redefining corporate patronage and what it means. When someone comes from Berlin or elsewhere, it's this mysterious place where all these amazing things have happened. So how can you feel inferior about this place of wonder? You know, people, people are curious about this place because so much cool stuff has happened here. So many amazing people and personalities have come from this place. So of course, it's put on a pedestal as it should be. You know, if you're feeling inferior about this city, then the problem lies within you.